What is up boys and girls, in this video I'm going to teach you how to stream large files over a network in Golang. Because if you don't stream your files, you're basically going to read them into memory. And that is pretty fine if you have small files, like simple images or something. But if you're sending videos or bigger, bigger chunks of documents, you're going to bump into memory issues. Because uh, let's say you're going to send two gigabytes uh, of a video and you have a server and everybody is doing the same you're going to bump against the memory limits of your server pretty fast. So you need to stream them. Uh, but before we continue, if you liked the videos I'm providing to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, jump into the Discord community. Let's go. So <clears throat> basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna build this from scratch. So I'm gonna say, um, let's make a file server here. It's gonna be a structure. Uh, for now, we don't need anything in it. I'm gonna attach a function to that and it's gonna be fs uh, file server i'm gonna call this start let's make a listener first uh it's gonna be net listen we're gonna use tcp uh let's hard code a port we're gonna say 3000 the holy grail of ports if there is an error and that's not null we're gonna i'm gonna log fail out actually that's fine so we have our listener here and <clears throat> we're gonna say a for loop where we're gonna accept connection. So we're gonna say connection error. It's gonna be ln accept with a T. Uh, let's copy this uh, error handling, paste it in. So we have a connection here. I'm gonna make a function to uh, read from that connection. I'm gonna call this uh, fs from file server. I'm gonna call this uh, read loop just like that and it's going to be a, a loop so we're going to say four and uh, the first thing i'm going to do is we're going to make it uh, non-streaming so you can see what the problem is going to be and then we're going to make it streaming right so non-streaming i'm going to say uh, a buffer which is going to be uh, make me a slice of bytes and let's say 2048 or something uh, some kind of a cool buffer most of the time i'm using 248 what am i doing here uh, you could make it smaller, you could make it bigger, whatever your needs. Um, just like that, we're going to chunk it. So we have a buffer. We're going to say here that nr is going to be... Actually, we need to read loop from the connection, which is going to be a netcon interface. So we're going to say con and read everything into this buffer. If there is an error, and that error is not nil. Classic go shenanigans. Uh, we're going to log fail out. We don't care. We don't give a fuck. Uh, for now, so like this, and then we have this n, and this n is basically the number of bytes we are written to the connection, so we're going to say that the file is going to be the buffer n, right, everything we're going to, because it could be that we don't fill up the complete buffer, so we're only going to grab uh, the number we have written from the buffer, right, it's simple, and then let's basically just do a println here, um, the file you could print the file out you could also say fmt here uh, print ln actually let's do it at the bottom so we're going to say um, written percentage d bytes received actually uh, received percent d bytes over the network a new line make it a print f and specify the n inside of this thing that's fine so uh here in our start so we're gonna basically make a listener uh boot up uh or accept loop here and then we're gonna say go fs read loop from that connection right in another go routine so we can handle multiple uh, requests asynchronously Yes, I think that's good. Uh, fine, fine, fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our server here. Uh, we're not going to make a constructor. We're just going to say that the server is going to be an server. Just like that. And then we're going to say server start. Hop, it's going to be fine. It's going to be a file server, by the way. Like this. Okay, so that's going to basically boot up our server. The next thing we're going to do is make a simple function. We're going to mimic somebody that's basically sending a file to our server. So we're going to say func um send file and we're going to say size right so we're going to make a, a variable size so we can 
uh, test it with variable with with uh, different sizes so we can see what's going on let's make an error here uh, just like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that the file we're gonna, not gonna read it from from uh, from disk that's very easy you guys should already know that what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a random file so we're gonna make a slice of bytes right we're gonna mimic we're gonna construct the file here uh, we're gonna make it as big as the size we give it. Then we're gonna say the error here is gonna be IO readful. Uh, readful, we're gonna say the rand reader. We're gonna make a random file. Rand reader, what am I doing? Into that file here. That should be good. Um, if R not null, let's return this guy. Boom. Then we have a file here. Um, Send file, wait, let me quickly think. Yes, okay, cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dial, right? So we're gonna say the connection error is gonna be net dial. What's going on here? Uh, do we need to specify TCP? Probably TCP, and we're gonna dial to our guy, which is uh, listening at 3000. Let's copy this error thingy, paste it in. Now we have a connection. Then we're gonna say connection write, and we're gonna write uh, the file. Uh, N R con write. Let's copy this thingy, paste it in, and then we're gonna say FMT print F uh, written percentage D bytes over the net work. A new line. N. Look at this, and then we're gonna return nil, and we're already done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically do something very simple. We're gonna say uh, go funk. A go routine, just like that. Hop. And then we're gonna time sleep. Uh, let's do f four seconds, maybe. Time second. Uh, and then we're gonna say send file. And we're gonna make it 1000. Because we have 2048 as a buffer. So we're gonna make it 1000 just to showcase this. Then we're gonna say go run main.go. I'm gonna wait four seconds. Boom. And uh, we received 1000 bytes over the network. This is our file. Uh, this guy said written 1000 bytes over the network. This is the file, a complete uh, random bytes. Hey, it's all working fine. So that's basically reading it into memory, right? So the problem is here, let's, let's make uh, so we know that we have here um, a buffer here at the server side from 2048 bytes. So basically what happens if we send uh, 4,000 bytes, right? Let's try that. Go run main.go at high speed vim, of course, let's go. Boom, so now you see what already happened, right? So let's go back. So it said written 4,000 bytes over the network, of course, because we are actually written 4,000 bytes. The problem is here, you see? Received 2,048 bytes over the network. That's the first chunk of bytes, and then we received the next chunk of bytes, right? So the problem is that uh, it's very hard to handle on the on the server side because uh, how do you know how large your file is and, and, and all that stuff? And it's basically a non-streaming way. You're gonna get into issues. And the best way to fix all of this shenanigans is to stream the files, some kind of a stream, a copy streaming files over the network. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So basically, um, let's start with this send file real quick. So enable to do that, instead of doing con write here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say n r is gonna be io copy. We're gonna say copy here, and we are gonna copy uh, to the connection, and we're gonna copy the file. The problem is, if we say file, it's not gonna work because the file is a slice of bytes, and we need a, a reader. So we're gonna say, we're gonna convert that to a reader. We're gonna say bytes new a reader this file, and that's already good. And then we're gonna delete this, and we should have the same effect. That's already been uh, fixed because copy. What copy is gonna do? It's basically gonna um, copy buffer. Let me show you here. Copy buffer here. So it's basically gonna keep copying uh, with a specified buffer, which is this gonna, which is this size. Right? And it's gonna keep doing that until you stop it or until it reach end of file, right? 
so we're also gonna run into issues with this you will see and we're gonna fix that but i'm gonna show you the whole shebang so you won't choke or come into problems when you're trying to uh, replicate this so we need to do the same thing uh, this read loop right so we have this buffer uh, we're gonna replace this buffer with a, uh, a new bytes buffer and instead of doing read all that shebang actually gonna leave the error here we're gonna say io copy and we're gonna copy to our buffer and we're gonna copy from the connection a streaming file right they are both copying their bytes at the same time uh, receiving and writing and reading right uh this is bad then we're gonna say the file is gonna be the buff right we have the buffer here we're gonna copy everything into this buffer and enable to get the bytes from the buffer we can say buff bytes and that should be fine um yes okay cool so let's test this go run main go four seconds waiting boom so you see we are written 4000 bytes over the network but there is a big problem because where is the rest of our logging nowhere to be found the system is hanging right so because uh look at this read loop here and then we are copying here so basically if we have panic here uh should panic should panic right but if we do that you will see that it will never panic some cup co some coffee always good so basically you see it's not panicking because we're never reaching that code why is that well that's basically because copy will um keep copying you see basically uh, where is it here here copy copies from source to dest from the source to the destination until either end of file is reached on source or an error occurs right <laughs> is there an end of file there is no end of file because it's a connection and it will keep uh, waiting until there is an end of file received but no there is no end of file nobody is sending an end of file there is no such thing as sending an end of file right so there's a problem how can we fix that well there is something cool and that is called um copy n <laughs> pretty simple copy n basically means a hey, copy but only copy this amount of bytes right very simple we could say here copy n and we know how many bytes we are going to send it's basically uh if you this size right that's the size we're going to send of course this is an int we need an int 64 like this and that's all fine the problem is it's still not going to work why because we here we also need a copy n let me show you go run main go we still we also need a copy n on the server side but we don't have a copy n on the server side basically still have the same problem are we going to fix that do a copy n but now we have a big problem because where is the file size we don't know it right in the server side we don't know how big the, fi the file is going to be so we could say yeah it's going to be 4000 right let's do it hard coded right but actually we don't know that but hey so we're going to say um go run may not go you see written 4000 over the network and then we have that panic so if you remove that panic and do it once again <clears throat> maybe three seconds was already enough but hey you see now it's working perfectly fine we have streamed this file over the network right received 4000 bytes and uh written 4000 bytes without reading the whole shenanigans into memory right we are basically if I, I told you the biggest thing we are actually gonna copy is um not quite sure where i can find it uh, but it's basically the buffer that copy allows us and that's the biggest uh bytes the biggest size we are gonna read into memory and send read into memory and send like a streaming a streaming um synergy okay so basically we have this 4000 which is a problem so how can we do that well it's very simple what you could do there are a couple things uh, but let's make it simple so what uh, most of the people are doing is if we send file here right here we have this copy n right but we're gonna say something like binary we're gonna write the file size first right so we're gonna say binary write we're gonna write into the connection right and we're gonna say what kind of order it is we're gonna say binary a little endian 
it's a byte order, big endian, little endian. It's just the order of the bytes. Uh, most um, most of the time you will use little endian. Look it up what it means. Uh, I think some of my videos already covered that, but hey. Just use little endian and uh, set margaritas on the beach. So binary little endian, and we are gonna send, uh, we are gonna write the size, right? We're gonna write the size and it's gonna complain because we need an N64. So we're gonna write that uh, to the connection. We're gonna first write it and then we're gonna start streaming. So what do we need to do on the other side here? Is basically before we copying, we need to write a uh, read. We need to read the file size we just wrote on the other side. So we're gonna say uh, var uh, size is gonna be an int 64. Then we're gonna say binary read. We're gonna read from the connection, right? Binary, not big endian. A little endian, and then we're gonna specify a pointer, the uh, memory address of the size, which is you could do it with n, right? We're gonna it needs to read into a memory, and then we have the size here. So instead of saying 4000, we're gonna say size, and we're gonna do that once again. Go run main dot go. Boom. And everything works perfectly fine. So we could actually make a big file here uh, to demonstrate. Not too big because my PC is Pepega. So we're gonna say, for example, uh, let's make a big file. Not quite sure if it's gonna work, but hey, it should work. Main.go. So we're gonna make a bigger file uh, that's going to be sended over the wire. You see, and it's nicely streaming this uh, chunk of, of, of bytes uh, between the two servers, right? Uh, not quite sure how big I made it. Probably big enough, so it's still streaming. Um, are we gonna wait until it's done? Not quite sure. Hey, let's let's leave it there as a nice background, so you can see. Uh, this is basically how you should a way to stream big files over TCP connections over a connection, so you don't read everything into memory. If you like the video I'm providing to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave some questions in the comments and. Very important, jump into my Discord community so we can help you with a 24-7 support if you have questions. And for the people that wanna learn more about uh, this distributed file stuff, I have on my Patreon, I have a, a complete series on how to make a decentralized and distributed file server where you can store literally everything. I call it the Google Docs, uh, the decentralized Google Docs. It's all on Patreon. Check it out uh, if you're interested in that. And I'm looking forward to see you in my next live stream or future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.